I want to welcome to the stage Joanne Philomena. Joanne, how are you? I'm good. Well, let's tell people about your book. Widowed. Widowed, actually, though it was written in a very brief period of time, in less than two months, the book started a little over a year and a half ago when I suddenly lost my husband. He collapsed at home and died quite suddenly. And I don't think I've ever felt so alone before in my life. Fortunately, a couple days later, another widow reached out to me on the phone. And it was the most important phone call of my life, just to hear from another widow and her story. And I began to know that I, I could be OK. It's been Possibly, someday. Yeah, yeah. And so it became a, an important thing, kind of growing in my heart, to reach out to other widows, just to let them know, you're not crazy, you're not alone. You can begin to move through this and to share the tools and the experiences that I learned that helped me through the first year as a widow and continue to help me at this point to live with the grief. Because grief I think isn't ugly. after somebody dies, there's a lot of logistics. There's, you know, people are visiting and there's travel logistics and there's a memorial service and... When all that stuff comes down, how do you feel as a widow, and what do you think you need to know at that point? At that point, what you feel is really a fog, okay? You widows may not even realize from the very start, you go into a state of shock, and there's a mental fog. So many widows I talk to after the fact really have not much memory at all of that entire process the first few days after their spouse passed and going through the funeral and all of that they're just kind of feeling like they were just propped up and shaking hands and really no memory of it because you have that initial state of shock it's your mind protects you from the emotional pain that's what happens and it slowly begins to lift as a little bit more and a little bit more is allowed to come through to your consciousness. So it takes a little while after that initial shock of becoming widowed to even begin to deal with what's going on around you. And when you talk to that other widow, what did she say that gave it sounds like she gave you some sort of hope? Oh, she absolutely did. The first thing she told me was, Joanne, you need to understand that you're in shock. And it made so much sense to me because when Jim first died, the night that he died, I didn't cry. And I wondered, what's wrong with me that I can't cry? It took almost 48 hours after he passed away before I sat down and had a cry. Other people were crying. I was having to call and let other people know, and they were crying, but I wasn't crying. So when she reached out to me and said, understand that you're in a state of shock, it, there was this huge relief because I realized, no wonder I didn't cry. No wonder I couldn't cry. She also told me, and I love this, I have passed this along to every widow I've seen. And it's in the book too, right? Book. I know what you're going to say. It's in the book. She told me the first year after you've lost your spouse, you get a widow pass on everything because you're going to mail the wrong payment to the wrong company. You're going to file things away and think you've put things away where they make perfect sense and you'll never find them again. You know, it's just all of this. And she said, and... If you need to dance naked in your living room with the drapes open, it doesn't matter. You get a pass on that. You mm. have a widow pass. And that helped me really forgive myself for all the little stupid mistakes I made. Yeah. And, right? So even before you wrote this book, you had started a podcast, so Widowcast. Um, if, if this message is resonating with you or you know someone who is a widow, please do forward them the link to Widowed by Joanne Philomena. Um, and also, do you include the link to your podcast in your book anywhere? I think the, the link is in my book. If you go to iTunes and look for Widowcast or my name, It'll come up. And you told me that when you started, um, when you started that podcast, there weren't a lot of podcasts for widows. There was nothing. I love listening to podcasts. I always have. Um, I'm a big fan. And when Jim passed away, one of the first things I did was went to look for a podcast because I really wanted to hear, like, what is this thing that I'm experiencing? 
and I wanted to hear from another widow. And so I searched in iTunes for widow, and I found um, a heavy metal crew. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> and I found a podcast that was similar to the concept of football widows, but it was oh, not no. widows. There was nothing, nothing for widows at all. And that played on my mind so that a year later, a year after Jim passed away, I launched Widowcast just to share my story, interview other widows, share helpful tools that I've learned through life coaching. And it's been wonderful. And did some of that material from the podcast make it into the book? Um, it did. It did. Some of the tools that I share on the podcast are explained in the book, maybe even in more detail. Yeah. So definitely, oh, wow. Cindy's saying she couldn't cry when her mother died and totally resonates with your message. Thanks, Cindy. Um, I'm going to ask you a question that somebody has written in to us. Um, so <laughs> I'll ask you this question. Okay. She says, I know there's an investment to work with Angela. Has it been worth it? Every bit. Oh. Every bit worth it. It's I only asked her because the other people would have said no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is because Widowed, Widowcast was not connected to my business when I initially launched it. It was an effort straight from my heart just to reach out to other widows. And this book is the same. The book is really an outreach to other widows. And I can't put a price tag on that. Mm. Having I, it, the reward that there is so much reward that comes back when you give from your heart. You know that, Angela. I know you're a giving 100%. person, and you know that. So, yes, absolutely worth it. All right, and a follow-up question, because I know you did this as well. Um, can I place call to actions within my book? Yes, you can. Yes. How did you do that? Talk a little um, bit about it. In my book, where I might have covered a specific subject, and I would be able to tell them, if you want to find out more about this, you can go to this link. And at the end of the book, there's a thank you page. If you download my book, don't miss the thank you page. Mm -hmm. Because I have lots of links on there where they can go find Widowcast. They can find my business page. They can find me on Facebook. And are you offering people the opportunity to talk with you? Do you have uh, like a discovery session there is on my website, and I do discovery sessions for widows, as mm -hmm. well as I'm a certified weight coach. From the Life Coach School. We love the Life Coach School. School. From the Life Coach <laughs> School. You can go to talktojoanne.com, and that's J-O-A-N-N. -N. No E. No E. Talktojoanne.com takes you right to my scheduling calendar where you can schedule a free session with me. And if you are a widow, here's one of the interesting things I learned as we worked on Joanne's book and um, so many stories that I heard. A lot of the people who work with you and who listen to your show are new widows. But there are some people who have been a widow for 10 or 20 or 30 years and haven't been able to find meaning and purpose in their life again, figure out what's next for them. Right. And I think that's what you're so amazing at and what you're here to do. That is exactly what the book is there to do. Uh, I share in the book how to identify what, which of your emotional needs are priority for you and how to identify, because oftentimes we have some of our emotional needs, some, a lot of them being met by our spouse. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you lose your spouse, it's like having the rug pulled out from under you. All of a sudden, all those needs to feel significant in the world or to feel secure in the world, gone. Mm. So you need to be able to regain that for yourself before you can move forward and process your grief. And Joanne can help you do that with her book um, and also with her, her podcast, which I encourage you to check out and share. Um, just want to tell you guys before we bring on our last author today, this is your last chance to interview our authors. So if you have questions, post them and share them with us. Joanne Philomena is the author of Widowed. You will see the link on your screen. If you're registered for the event, we will send it to you. Joanne, thank you so much and thank congratulations you. on your book.